Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Hunter in episode 5. I am Milbro, and today we are going to be heading down south and <laughs> seeing what's uh, on this road heading into the desert. With all that being said, let's uh, get going. So I've just hopped on the road here, and uh, I wanted to say that you... If you are seeing this, uh, this series for the first time, I highly recommend you check out the playlist uh, on my channel for The Hunter and uh, to catch yourself on speed here, and well, that way you get a bearing, but in the last episode I died a couple times and you know, decided to not make this a permanent death series, and I'm gonna go to day 49 as I'm killing uh, Nurse Nancy here. If you are coming back to watch this, I uh, thank you for uh, watching, and thank you, I appreciate all those that come to view me. So right now we're <laughs> heading into the desert, and I want to talk about uh, the new console version coming with L22. So I know a lot of players are really hyped for that, and, and we're uh, waiting for a very long time, and... You know, I'm really excited to see the new web modding system and, you know, new to console at least, and, you know, excited to see all the zombies get their facelift and everything, and, and it'll be really nice, and, but I do want to let those know if you view these uh, videos on console, uh, you know, the console version, I don't plan on, uh, <laughs> I'm stopping the this version, you know, like, because at this point in time, the it, you know, this is like a relic. It's not gonna get updated anymore since you know Telltale Games went under. You know, they went uh, bankrupt and everything, and Fun Pimps can't update this anymore. And to be clear, you know, the new and the new version coming to console is not an update. You know, the so don't think that this is getting an update, so it's gonna be like a nice little time capsule just kind of show what used to be Seven Days to Die, and, you know, I do wish you can create more content on this, you know, kind of like, you know, how does this be a legacy? And, uh, you know, while I love, you know, all that's coming into, you know, the Alpha 22 version that should be coming here in, hopefully in a few months, the, uh, I do want to give my opinion on some things that I kind of miss will be going, uh, you know, kind of won't be getting to experience. Uh, one of those is being the, uh, how the weapons, how you put together them, put them together. The, I really like how the guns are put together on this, it's kind of cool that you actually have to, you know, like the MP5, you know, or the SMG as it is, uh, known, uh, you know, you have to put together a, a receiver, the barrel, the parts, uh, you know, you have the, uh, the stock, and, you know, I really like that, and, you know, it also goes, you know, it's like that for the shotgun, and, and AK-47, and, and the sniper rifle and all that, you know, you have to actually piece together the gun. While I really like the idea of you being able to kind of mod your weapons is more than a, uh, taping a flashlight on or wiring a flashlight on to your gun. It's really... I kind of wish you... I think it'd be kind of cool if uh, the Fun Pimps brought back a... the, the console version's, uh, you know, kind of part system where you actually have to put together the gun. And, but also kind of mix it with the... Uh, mix it with the... with the weapon modification system. I think that'd be really cool. Say, like, yo... Know, and you don't even have to do, like, the old quality system. Uh, you could do it, like, uh... kind of like how I think it's, uh, you know, some... Mods like Darkness Falls do, uh, set, uh, do, uh, you know, kind of the parts for, you know, like, kind of like generic uh, weapons, you know, 
kind of like generic uh, rifle seer uh, receivers, general machine gun receivers, and but then you you had to get those, but then you have to actually put the uh, and then you make you put it together, and you get like the modern quality. I think that'd be kind of cool, and uh, then you just mod out with weapons. I think it'd be kind of cool to pay the no mod to the old uh, console version here, and I think it would be. You know, just really nice. And, uh, learn by looting. I know that's something a little bit decisive with the people. Yeah, I get it. It's, it sucks, and I do kind of prefer learn by doing, you know, like learn by crafting and for shooting zombies, like with the bow, for example. Using your knife, and, you know. To me, I think it should be, uh,. It's more intuitive to do learn by you kind of learn by doing or crafting instead of this uh, you know kind of arbitrary book system you know where you have to get a certain amount of books to hang on let me deal with my gear I think you know, what would be kind of interesting would be if the fun pimps did a I doubt they'll do it but uh, it'd be interesting if they did a system where it's like you, know, you have the learn by doing but uh you kind of have the books uh, mixed in where it's like they're not um where you don't have to rely solely on books to do everything and it would be maybe like the books give you like a, a boost to, to your to stat like you know, kind of actually you know this console version actually already kind of does that a little bit, like how uh, with uh, you know, like when with the weapon schematics actually, you know, like you know, you have your crafting levels, uh, and you know if you get a uh, like say if you get a spike club schematic, it'll actually increase your weapon smithing by one. What I think would be kind of cool would be uh, if uh, you know with the learn by looting. Like, uh, if it was implemented in a way where it's like it could give you a, uh, a boost to, like, the perks a little bit. Or something like that, you know. Give the... Give the... I'm trying to think of it here. You know, kind of like, uh, give a boost to your perk points, uh, if you have the, uh... You have the have their proper like strength or intellect requirement. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, making a hybrid system, but where you don't have to rely on you know learn by looting or all this. Uh, I know there's people that love to loot, and but there's also people that love to kind of base build, and it's like learn by looting blocks off a lot of <laughs> progress, and it can really suck. I I get I look at it from both ends and it's just one of those. I think you. I don't know much about game design. It would be kind of a ideal system you like to have both. It. But who am I to say? I think I, it might be really complicated to do that. But I think it could be. I think it could work out. It's just that sometimes. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, community gets divided on stuff, and I get that. So, uh, the road over here, uh, ended, so that's kind of a dead end. And, uh, we could explore this road up here, but let's explore the desert a little bit more. I think I remember seeing a... another gravel path that went off. We could find something else. Oh, no, we got... Charlie over here. He was a little confused. There you go, buddy. You should sort your confusions out. Anything good? No. Yeah, we found at least a little house out here. I was hoping that desert road would take a... you know, lead to a town, maybe, but I literally didn't go down to that road tilted this episode here. So we gotta kill Bob's and Annie. Uh, you know, I've got a couple Nancy's, uh... 
I see the medical support is really uh, out here in strides today. One thing with console update is, uh, you know, my bad, new console version. Is, uh, yeah, I'm also really excited for, you know, kind of have uh, actual quests. You know, be a nice breath of fresh air, and, you know, uh, I did just join the Discord server today for Seven Days to Die, and, you know, like, you know, they are planning on doing uh, crossplay with PC and consoles, which would be really nice, you know, especially if I get, uh, you know, more of you guys viewing, and, and you know, you, if crossplay does become a thing, you know, it'd be nice to have, like, a nice little server, uh, you know, like, where you guys can hang out and, like, you know, Maybe even make a co-op or PvP episodes of series, but only time will tell. Hi, Penny. Take care of you here real quick. Yeah, this is kind of my two cents on the console version so far, you know, like in Alpha 22. It's one of those that I'm really excited for it. Uh... Nothing on Bob. Hey, Mikey. A little hot out here, ain't it? Nope. Come on, Mikey. You know you want to go down. So, yeah, let's uh, break into this house here. Um, I think it might have a gun safe on it. If anything, it could provide decent loot. But yeah, it's just, like I say, a little bummer on that desert road. Um, anything in the wooden desk, that's not too bad. Pair that for a bit of wear it. Um, that's actually better. Nice. Just gonna scrap that down for leather. Yeah, if you guys had seen the you know, last episode, it was well, uh, kind of a situation where I had to rebuild a little bit, but not going to you know, discourage me. We got a sweat here, one to crawl after me. Come here, you. Good boy, level up. 20 points of skill points to spend. See if I can spend anything on that. Ooh, another level of knife guy, and... We could go into either Survivor or the Decapitator. Do the Decapitator. Check this place out for any more loot. Nothing in there. Grab this up for leather. Uh, anything in the fridge? Other than the bottom. Some water. Some iron, some short iron pipes. Coffee beans. Throw those sham sandwiches out. Throw it right flesh away. So I'm gonna go break down the safe. <laughs> and we just busted into the safe. Oh, lovely. A hunting rifle, hunting rifle parts, some 7.62, a shotgun stock, shotgun parts, pistol grip, shotgun receiver. Most of that's not too useful, but what is absolutely key, key here is uh, the, the 7.62 and the hunting rifle stuff. In case you guys are not aware, this is a, a bows, uh, blades, and hunting rifle plays for you. Like I said, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend you go check them out on my channel. So, what I'm going to do is... going to go wander down this uh, gravel path and, and see what's down there. So as I'm chasing down this chicken here, I ran down the path and I think we've actually found a bunker and a shack. These are really good for loot. Hopefully you can find some schematics in here. Books. Come here, chicken. Need some dinner. 
All right. Yeah, I don't think this POI actually exists on the PC version anymore. I can't remember. I've seen so many videos of seven days that it's they all get hazy. Sounds like we got company. Hi, right, Charlie. Come in and say hi. There you go, there you go buddy. Some leather. I got Annie and Curly saying hi. Take an arrow. You take an arrow. Arrows for everybody. Oh, cactus. And Curly taking all the shots while Annie's dodging. Where are you in the Matrix? Thank you. Ooh, spare water. Come here, Curly. I don't put you down. Yeah, sham sandwich. Another level up, level 27. Broken in there, and I hear another Charlie. It must be a party. Ow, cactus. Gonna take a painkiller. Okay, try to get some health back. These damn cacti can be so annoying. One Bob down. What about you, other Bob? You're down. So yeah, since I'm kind of getting to the point of one shot in the bigger zombies, I think I'm definitely going to be increasing the difficulty a little bit uh, come uh, the end of uh, the Day 7 Horde. Come here, Charlie. You're down. Shred iron pipe and a, a bit of oil. Um, we'll just read this challenge real quick. Take that oil. This Charlie has a. I need that multi bread. Just, you know, want to take it for. Just in case I get into that situation again of running into all that, and sounds are that sounds like there's more outside here or in the yard. Marla, Bob, good to see you. Don't be shy. And a head explosion. Nice. Come here, Bob. I don't want to have a word with you. Yeah, it looks like your car's past its uh, warranty date. Long. Thank you for your kind words. Marla, you got nothing on her. I'm gonna break into this uh, bunker here. And we are in. Hopefully there is some good loot in here. Anything in the cooler? This water. Cooking pot. Cupboard. You got a pasta. Take it. Iron and coal. Just leave that in there. Would be nice to find another wrench, because uh, when I died the first time, I had my wrench on me, which, that was a mistake. Uh, where do we want to break into next? Let's break into here. Yeah, I know there's a gun safe and uh, a couple bookshelves in the other room, but let's search the dead Charlie over here. Got anything here? No. Cupboards, probably not much. Got glass jars, water, a can, like, be good for iron. 
Oh yeah, and if any of you uh, PC players uh, watch this here, uh, you may or may not know this, but uh, I can't show it right now because I don't have a campfire <laughs> handy, but uh, there is, uh, there, I know like some uh, content creators uh, talk about, uh, you know, like, oh, it would be nice to get more gas and everything, you know. Uh, Console version, uh, you know, has a uh, biofuel, which uh, you, know, you could do uh, animal fat and everything. You could actually make fuel, kind of. You know, it's a later game thing, and I know it got removed uh, a little later on in the versions, and uh, which really sucks. But it's like, you know, one thing I wish they could uh, add back with PC version: leather hood. That is pretty good for armor, and iron gloves. Not too bad. More glass jars. A dead hunt, Charlie. Um, you can take the bones. Actually, I'd rather have the steel arrows. I'm just gonna leave most of the stuff here, and I'll probably come back for it tomorrow. Uh, aviator goggles. So yeah. There's a lot of uh, kind of older console version things here. Yeah, I'm sure some PC players uh, probably remember and would love to have back. It would be nice for them. And so yeah, I'm gonna break into the gun safe in this room. <laughs> Give me a second. And we are in. Let's see, what we got hunting rifle barrel and a pistol barrel. The hunting rifle barrel would be nice along with the parts here. You know, to go combine the workbench back home, but I don't have a hunting rifle schematic that I have read yet, so yeah. Well, it's a really nice getting this hunting rifle. You know, excellent find, uh, but need the parts. Pull the schematic to pull the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, head back to home base and uh, some some decent stuff here in the in desert, but not exactly what I was looking for. All right, I gotta head back to base. All right, home sweet home. So what I've been thinking about doing is uh, for for the horde situation, I'm like I would like to find a town today, and uh, unfortunately that didn't work out. I did notice this town going out north, and uh, considering that there's wasteland over here. I think what would be a good uh, a good decision would be I uh, take this uh, road north and see what's over there. And uh, but for the horde, I think I'll probably take over one of the partially uh, destroyed houses and you know make a base out of that. And because this area here, I don't plan on being here forever. It's you know, I would kind of like to get closer to Horde City, but I'm, I don't think I'm anywhere near ready for that, considering how last episode went. So, I'm gonna do my usual thing of, uh, <laughs> gathering some supplies for the night time, and we'll catch up with you on the night time. Alright, so, what have we accomplished today? So, we've got our big find, the hunting rifle. So, you yeah, know, really good stuff. Really happy to have it. Only got five shots for it though, but hey, I'm happy to have a gun than, uh, than not have a gun. And we've also did uh, a little bit of exploration in the desert, and you can at least get some aloe vera and uh, some cactus fruit if I really need it for uh, well, yucca juice. Actually, now thinking about that, I should have grabbed some. Did a little bit of exploring and uh, found some loot. Uh, so. I'd say overall, especially coming off of last episode, that is a very good day, and and uh, I'm gonna do my overnight kind of stuff, and I'm gonna catch up with you guys uh, in the next episode. I thank you all for watching, and I hope you watch another video of mine, and uh, take care. Have a great day, everybody.